Good evening, my people. Thank you for coming back to another Tony Montana video. I hope you're doing well. Hope your family and dogs are healthy and you guys are having a good evening, good Saturday night. I even hear me walking one of my female. This is the dam of the puppies I've shown in my, some of my videos. She is full of energy. She's the one, the everlasting bunny that always has more energy. I've never seen her say, hey, that's enough. Never. Never. Oh, okay, we got to be careful here. Uh, let's see. Come over here, mama. Come, come, come. Uh, she's also isn't all that uh, she isn't all that uh, hot in terms of going nuts when seeing dogs she'll be very attentive oh the dog is that a leash? Oh. Look at that, sorry about that. I'm gonna be trying to uh, pay attention to things. These little dogs, this small dog, maybe like 30 pounds. But like I said, she is not, she's the oldest. So she's going through it, being seen it, and she knows <laughs> I'm never going to let her go to, to do something to another dog. So, you know, you guys, they, even though that dog is barking profanely it's at my dog. So let it, let it go, let it go. You know what you could do. We don't need to we don't need to show anything, anybody prove anything in the 21. Oh so anyway, I hope you like I said, I hope you're well. Wanted to talk about a little bit. I've, I've been watching, you know, the uh, uh, a lot of lives. I'm trying to catch up to things in life. But I wanted to talk about something that came up on a, on a live. Uh, so, um, and it was, the talk was, or oh, the question was, and again, let me, repeat, let me put my disclaimer, for people that are looking to cut and paste pieces of my audios, are you going to have to make sure you add this, or you're going to be putting um, audios out of context, because everything in my channel, Everything I say in any and every on my channel, it with uh, the purpose of educating the pu general public and people. Always, obviously, people that would like to know about the brain, and obviously, uh, tickle the, the the brain of people that in the dog breed, in the dogs, uh, so that we just can we. we are, People that see me, people that, that know me, know that I respect the American people, Terry, and it's history. So, everything I say is not to promote anything illegal. And when I talk, when it sounds like it's a present tense, really it's not present tense. I'm just making a mistake. Sometimes I take myself, I go, uh, push, put myself in the 1900s uh, when, you know, things, the mentality was different, when everything was different than today. So, uh, let me see if there's another dog over there. But I need to make sure that if I, if you hear me saying something in the present tense, it's me imagining I'm in the 1900s, 1930, 1940s, around that time. Yeah. So, don't think I'm anything present or condoning anything at the present time. Anyway, the question was, do, does the breed need, or need it, if you want to say it like that, need it? Uh, dog fighters to maintain the breed and yes I use the word dog fighting even though that's a taboo word or that's a taboo label but I, I like to keep getting my channels to be honest and keep saying how it is so it's not mis misunderstood or twisted so at that time there were dog fighters it is what it is competitors if you want to say it a different way uh, that. so the question is again do did we need or do we need competitors to maintain the dogs to the standard? 
made or, or in, continue to improve the, the dogs. Uh, so I guess I, I I said the second one, which is continue to improve the dogs. That one I didn't say in Spanish. I don't think that was what they said, but because I just said it now, I'm gonna have to include it in my explanation. A lot of you guys will say, "Heck yeah, man! You need you need uh, competitors. You need you know dog fighters to fight dogs and see which is the best, better ones." Logical, logical, and it does make sense if your aim and your beginning and end is to win, uh, you know, win matches, and not you know what the dog breed is known for now some people might say hey what the dog uh, the american people terrier terrier its job is oh hold on a second there's another oh your dog that was a dog up there staffy Nice and quiet, so she just looked at him and kept walking. Like I said, anyway, so some people, a lot of you guys would say, yes, you definitely need it to maintain the standard or, or know what you have. But I say, no, no, you don't. And I know I'm, I'm in the minority because you know, a, lot of, a lot of people say yes. They're saying yes because they're looking for, come on, come on, come on. A dog that, that wins. And they think a dog that wins is what I'm looking for. A perpetual winner is what I'm looking for. And that's the breed. For me, the essence of the breed is genius. You know, we have different breeds, fighting breeds. A Kangol. We don't know how much there's a piece of it that's fighting that they do over the inch. Uh, you have the Bulikuta in Afghanistan, in that area, that they fight in very hot weather. You know, people say here in America, we say, oh no, we don't match, oh, back in the 1900s, oh no, we don't match dogs, you know, in the, in the summer. Well, in those areas, it's very hot summer all year round, okay? But they, these dogs compete in that area, in that situation, with different rules. And obviously you have the Tosa, Inu, I think it's Inu, Uli, yeah, Inu. Tosa Inu, which is a beautiful breed as well. Uh, big, not necessarily big, I think the American versions are bigger than the actual Japanese fighting, which is, I think, it goes up to 88, 80, 90 pounds, the males. So they're not as big as the American versions that could be 150 pounds. So, but they're all, they all do the same uh, task. Fight, no, fight other dogs. Fight. So what makes our breed stand out? It's gameness. So when you're looking to maintain or continue uh, a good line of dogs, you're looking to make sure your dogs are game. But again, this is not in the present. We're in the 1900s. We're like you're living in there and I, not in 2022. So at that time, we were thinking, oh, we're looking for maintain or identify gameness in the dogs and beat the breed the gameness or breed the game dogs, right? All right, so why do I say you don't need, you don't need the, uh, the dog fighter for, to, to, to do this? Well, when you match dogs, a lot of times, this dog, excuse me, boy, Little boy! Without, without. So, thank you, thank you. Anyway, so you don't, you don't need it because with, when you're fighting the dogs, or people dog fighting, are fighting dogs, both of them, their main concern is to win, get that purse, and go home. Some of them will say, win fast and go home. So you, you're not looking to to see gameness, because that means your dog is going through a lot. What the heck? What's wrong with you? 
Uh, anyway, so, um, and these dogs are, are competing a lot of times, especially in the faster lanes. They are being put, they've been full of juice, different cocktails of uh, uh, performing enhancing drugs. Uh, so that dog is stronger, faster, recuperates faster, and, you know, feels less pain, maybe, maybe not, uh, and things like that. So you're not looking at the natural animal when you're doing that. You're looking at a souped up animal, or both souped up animals. So you're not really seeing all natural. So there's something called the game test. A lot of you know the game test. Some of them, or you, do not. Uh, we see the game test is basically putting the dog to off uh, uh, putting a dog through a test of valor or a test of endurance of willingness to stay in the mix and it's not just you know when it's all even up no we're talking about a situation when uh, the, the owner or the handler or whatever you want purposely put it's putting all the cars against their own dog so that the dog is truly tested with as little physical damage because again why little physical damage because you're looking to uh looking to see if the dog will quit and most of the dog will quit out of fatigue not out of pain this breed is known to be high tolerance for pain and recognizing a dog that is, does not have a high tolerance for pain does not need to you don't need to involve dog fighting to find out you, you through dealing with the dog through vaccination through doing all different kind of things you pay attention and you see which one you know stay still like nothing's happening you know while you're putting vaccines on or whatever if they get a scratch if you're cleaning it up whatever and there's other ones that yelp or move around not yelp but move around you know they, they react to it and so, and there's other ones, obviously, my, the, the worst one would be the ones that yelp or, or start screaming, or that one, <laughs> you, you realize, uh-uh, oh, oh, you know? But to check the, the main thing, which is heart, which is gameness, you know, you, uh, there's different types, different ways of doing it. You know, I, I'm not gonna say all the variations of how to do it, but the more, the common ones are this, or are uh, getting the dog tired, maybe putting it in, in a treadmill for 45 minutes, an hour, depending on how the dog goes, so that to get the dog in a certain uh, certain level of fatigue, get them tired. The more tired, the better. Uh, obviously, not not until he's like stumbling, but you know enough that that he's tired, and he's like, all right, you know maybe 75% fatigue, 80% fatigue, the, the meaning 100% will be complete exhaustion on the floor. <laughs> okay, you know, and then uh, the game test will probably put a fresh dog that's out of his weight or a, a one or two pounds heavier, meaning pit weight, heavy, air, and uh, see how he reacts to, uh, dog. obviously the dog that you're doing, he's supposed to be a, a a dog that has been uh, fully schooled fully schooled meaning going through the process of uh, learning different styles and, and and maybe a dog has been out again all this in the 1900s not today you're saying we've, we were there uh, so you put a pound two pounds heavier on the dog to uh, you know, to see how he reacts and see if he he was willing to continue scratching or crossing that line and seeing his how his physical language his body language because obviously they're not going to tell you but you can tell when a dog is looking to end and uh, you know say okay i think I'm, I'm done here i'm i'm good you know so and it doesn't have to take two hours three hours or get it an alligator to crunch on your fresh dog you know so you can also, another way of cane testing, some people do, some people did rather, did, 
is uh, two dogging your dog. I'm not sure of them might get the dog tired, dog tired, and some of them just will bring your a fresh, bring your fresh dog with two fresh dogs, one after the other, and see if they'll they'll continue or not. Uh, I don't. Again, I don't. I don't. I don't agree with the second one because again, most dogs would quit because of fatigue or being tired, or be, then physical damage. So if your dog doesn't get to the point of being fatigued, you won't be able to see if they're game, if they're willing to continue. So going back to the question, do we need dog fighters uh, to see if the dog is game? And the answer is no. You could do that indoors. And, and you're saying, oh, but you don't know what you got until you, you take them out to see all the dogs from all the programs. Well, you're talking about something else. That's not the essence of the breed. That's just the uh, general, uh, come on, uh, general work that the dog was bred for. But again, repeating, there's all the breeds that do the same task, do the same work, but they don't have what the American people is known for, gameness. So when we're talking about preserving the breed, gameness is what we're talking about, in my opinion. Now, here's the twist. I did mention, uh, in, unintentionally uh, about if we need dog fighters to continue to improve to continue to improve the breed and the answer will be yes because then uh, there you're mixing because a, a game dog is a game dog you, there's no two ways around it there's no you know it, it, there's no some people say there's level gameness uh, and I uh, don't think so. You have the dog quits, maybe, uh, or, or he doesn't. Yeah, some dogs will take longer to quit, but once you, you, you quit, you quit. You know that there's a limit to you, and gameness is not having a limit. So, to improve the breed would mean thinking about all the attributes of the, of the breed or, or the work, and that means ability. In there, I guess it would be yes, you would need a dog fighter. Uh, to obviously see the ability and breed the most able of the breed but obviously knowing that your, your dog is a game dog to begin with but to maintain the, the purity or, or the essence of the breed no you don't need a you don't need a dog fighter oh shit come on, come on. Important, excuse my language. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Did I say hello, please say hello to my little friend here? Mama. Yo, mama. There you go. She's working out. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. This is Tony Montana. Till next time.